good morning. Today is my first day of my new getting up early schedule and so far I'm feeling great. As I've been on my little morning walk here around the block, I've been thinking about my morning schedule that I do every day and how I can improve it. I figured that billionaires are pretty productive in I figured that billionaires are pretty productive and they must get a lot done in the morning. As I was trying to say outside, I feel like if somebody is a billionaire, then they must have a good grasp on what to do on their morning routines, really have a productive day. I was doing a little reading last night on how to have a productive morning and billionaire morning routines because it seemed very interesting to me. And I came across an article which is titled, How to Create a Billion Dollar Morning Routine. And it seemed like the perfect thing to try out today. I was curious what differentiates a billion dollar morning routine from a regular morning routine, so I summed it up best in this article. A billion dollar morning routine is a list of activities you do when you first wake up. These activities are centered around self-love and self-care. A billionaire morning routine is a perfect way for any woman, any woman looking to lead a more fulfilling, inspired, and value aligned life. I mean, that sounds perfect, so, like I said, let's try it out today. Step one is to practice good sleep hygiene and good hygiene. Practicing good sleep hygiene means to be consistent with your sleep schedule and good hygiene just obviously means to take care of yourself. So as far as good sleep hygiene, it says I should be closing my blinds every night so it's pitch black in here when I sleep. And like I said before, just sleeping with a constant sleep schedule. Taking care of myself um, I'm gonna do that right now, I guess. Trying to see how I can film without accidentally filming my ass. Okay, so now I'm on to step two. Step two of the morning routine. Step two is avoid checking your phone in the morning. You should fight the temptation to check email and social media first thing when you wake up. Kind of going to be an issue because... Um... Yeah, but I can at least avoid checking my social media and email first thing. Which means that now I'm on to step three. And that step three is chug eight ounces of water. Now, I don't know exactly how much eight in ounces of ounces, right? Yeah, eight ounces of water is, but I can estimate it, I think. I'm guessing that's eight ounces of water because see one of these is so this is 16 ounces right here so eight ounces about half I guess that works chugging eight ounces of water first thing in the morning helps replenish fluids lost by your morning cup of Joe I'm not a Joe drinker I don't drink coffee but water is always healthy to drink right Step four, I am sitting back in bed because step four is to meditate and reflect. It says that meditation is a good way to de-stress. I don't know what I'm stressed for, I just woke up. But it says if you don't know what to do to meditate, if you've never done it before, then to use a 20 minute guided meditation. So I guess I'll be doing that. So the one I found is going to be this one, the 20 minute 
letting go and relax 20 minute guided meditation. I don't think that I've ever really meditated before, so I'm curious to see how this goes. Begin this practice by getting into an extra comfortable position. Getting curious as you explore your body, asking yourself, how can I let go and relax even more deeply right now? Letting your belly be soft and loose, so you may feel it expand on every single in-breath. Who owns the air? None of us. And all of us. Okay, I know I might be making fun of this a little bit, but... It's, I, I, I see the appeal in it. I see it's, you know, it can get you relaxed and stuff. I'm just not good with this kind of stuff. I can't sit still. I am now on to step number five, which is setting your priorities for the day. It says that I should be setting three things to do on a to-do list, because if you don't, then you lose up to 40% of your productive time when you jump around from task to task. So let's see, for a to-do list for today, for three things, first up will be to finish out this billionaire morning routine. Second will be to get this video finished being filmed and edit it and all that so I can post it tomorrow morning. And number three will be to do all of that before, before it gets too late because I want to go to bed at a good hour again tonight. Step number six is to read for 30 minutes and I think that I might have a couple books to choose from to read. I've been wanting to do a reread of The Odyssey, or The Odyssey, so I will now be doing a dramatic reading of the beginning of book one. The man, Muse. Tell me about that resourceful man who wandered far and wide when he'd sacked Troy's sacred citadel. Many man's townships he saw and learned their ways of thinking, many the griefs he suffered at heart on the open sea, battling for his own life and his comrades' homecoming. Yet no way he could save his comrades, much though he longed to. It was through their own blind recklessness that they perished, the fools, for they slaughtered the cattle of Helios, the sun god, and ate them. For that he took from their day of returning. Tell us this tale, goddess, Child of Zeus, start anywhere with it. Reading so far has been my favorite part of this whole morning routine and it's something that I want to try to keep doing in the future in the morning. And this book here, or an epic or whatever you want to say, technical term, it has so many big words in it and stuff that you really have to think about and I haven't read it in a while so it's a lot for my brain to process which I think is like it's supposed to do a great way that my brain will start of you know get a kickstart and start going right away in the morning now I'm on to the last step actually step seven which is to exercise it says verbatim you don't have to do anything crazy like joining a CrossFit gym just do 30 minutes of exercise I know exercise is great to do, but in my opinion, I would do that at night because I don't see how anybody would have 30 minutes for this, 30 minutes to read, 20 minutes for meditation, and can still work enough to become a billionaire. Because becoming a billionaire is definitely about hard work and all that, right? It's definitely not just generational wealth or anything. What would I know? Hey, I don't know. I have no idea why it says that I should be working out after I shower and do everything else. It feels like that should be first thing in the morning, but I still did it. The whole morning routine, I mean, it's a little bit goofy and, you know, I don't know if anybody should actually stick to that and do anything. I think it's more of a personal do what works best for you. 
I am just super happy that I got up super early today and definitely gonna keep doing that because I feel like my productivity has already gone up so much just by getting up those couple hours earlier in the morning just gives you a couple more hours throughout the day to work on stuff and get stuff done.